Hi children, welcome to the peekaboo segment. Are you all ready to play the guess the animals quiz? The seventh episode has four characters in it. The first one is a bird which was also there in one of our previous stories. The clues for the second animal are a group of these is called a mischief. In cartoons they are often shown as eating cheese but actually they like fruits, grains and seeds and these can squeeze through openings as small as the size of a coin. The clues for the next animal are a group of these is called a creep. These can live a very long time, some to the ripe old age of 150 years and these have bird-like beaks and no teeth. The clues for the fourth animal are, oh dear, I uh, can't remember the clues for the fourth animal, but if you figure it out, please don't forget to mention it in the comment section below. Bye! Oh. Hi children, are you ready for the seventh episode? Today's story is about the four friends. Avik and Kian, can you please tell us who the four friends are? Bob and Lou. Hi Bob and Lou. We going to learn. We to want to hear. We are going to hear. A story. Story. Of. 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 The toys and the air. And mouse and the air. Mouse and? Crow. Crow. <laughs> By a lake, in a forest, there once lived four friends. One of them was a small brown mouse who had big black eyes and a long tail. He lived in a snug hole near the edge of the water. Snug, children, means small and cozy. The second friend was a jet black crow. He lived on a jackfruit tree close by. The third friend was a tortoise. He lived in the lake and was very happy. And the fourth friend was a deer. She had beautiful large eyes and her golden coat had white spots on it. The four of them were very happy together they lived peacefully and no one troubled them. One evening, the mouse, the crow and the tortoise met beside the lake. They were waiting for the deer. They waited for a long time, but the deer never came. Oh, what do you think could have happened? Asked the mouse, looking worried. Oh! Perhaps she is caught in a hunter's trap, said the crow. He may have already killed her. The tortoise said, We must go and look for our friend. Dear crow, would you please fly over the forest? And see if you can find her. Certainly, said the crow. I will leave at once. And so the crow went flying over the forest, looking here and there. And as he flew, he called out, Where are you? Dear, where are you? At last, he heard a faint voice in reply. It was the deer. Help me. Here I am. Help me, please. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. And as the crow flew down, he saw the deer was caught in a hunter's net. You are trapped. Oh, 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 what can I do to 
help you. Oh, oh, should, should, should I fly back to our friends and ask for help? Yes, please do that, said the deer with tears in her eyes. Please go get help quickly. So the crow flew back to the lake. When the tortoise and the mouse saw the crow coming, they both shouted. Did you find our friend? Did you find the deer? Have you found her? Yes, yes, I have, said the crow. She is in grave danger. Grave, children, means serious. The crow told the mouse and the tortoise how he had found the deer caught in the hunter's net. The tortoise thought quickly. Our friend, the mouse, can bite and cut the net with his teeth and set the deer free. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes! I can do that, but how will I get there? I, I can carry you easily on my back. Then let's leave immediately. So the mouse hopped onto the crow's back and away flew the crow with the mouse on his back and they reached the place where the deer was. The mouse jumped off the crow's back, cut the net with his teeth and set the deer free. The deer stood up and shook herself. Just then, the tortoise arrived, having crawled all the way from the lake. Oh, so nice to see you here, tortoise, cried his other friends. And for a while, the four friends stood there talking about how the deer had escaped. Suddenly, they heard someone coming through the forest. Who could that be? Could it be the hunter? Away flew the crow to the top of a tall tree. The mouse went and hid himself in a hole and the deer ran away. However, the poor tortoise couldn't move quickly. He slowly crawled towards a big green bush. The hunter reached and found there was nothing under his net. Ah, the deer has escaped. He looked around and saw the tortoise walking towards the green bush. Aha! A tortoise, said the hunter. At least I can have a tortoise for dinner tonight. And saying that, the hunter grabbed the tortoise, put him in his bag and carried him away. The crow who was still at the top of the tree saw what the hunter did and cried out aloud for his friends. Oh, mouse! Oh, dear! Come quickly! Come quickly! The mouse and the deer came running and the crow told them how the hunter had carried away the tortoise in his bag. How are we going to help our friend the tortoise? Oh, we, we must do something quickly before the hunter gets home. The deer said, I know what we can do. I will go and stand in the path of the hunter pretending to eat grass. When he sees me, he will drop his bag and come running after me. The mouse can then go and bite and cut the bag and set the tortoise free. But what if the hunter catches you? Oh, don't worry about me. I can run very fast and the hunter won't be able to catch me. And so the deer went and stood in the path of the hunter, nibbling at the grass. Children, nibble is to take small bites out of. So the deer stood in the path of the hunter, nibbling at the grass. The hunter saw the deer and said, Aha! The deer is here! He dropped his bag and ran after the deer. 
The mouse quickly ran up to the bag, cut it and set the tortoise free. The tortoise tried to walk as fast as possible and hid in a green bush. The hunter ran and ran and ran and soon he got tired and gave up. Ah, this, da, this deer is too fast. I will go back to my tortoise. At least I have that for dinner. But when the hunter got back to his bag, he saw there was nothing in it. Huh? Where has the tortoise escaped? Ah, I am so unlucky. First the deer escaped and now the slow tortoise has also escaped. Ah, looks like I will not have any dinner tonight. The mouse, the crow, the deer and the tortoise quietly stood and watched as the hunter walked away with an empty bag in his hand. Children, isn't it wonderful to have such helpful friends? A friend in need is a friend indeed. But what do you think is the moral of the story? Please mention it in the comment section below. I hope you all enjoyed the story. Bye! Hi children! Welcome to Wrap the Tale segment. I hope you all enjoyed our last story, The Four Friends. If you haven't watched it yet, you could view it either on our YouTube channel Bob and Lulu or on the Bubble Rooms or Bob and Lulu's Instagram pages. And if you have watched it and enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, hit the like button and share the video. The moral of the last story was that a friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's hear to what the others have to say. Mother India says, Anything is possible when you have a good group of friends. Dhruvit says, You should always help your friends. And Sharav says, The hunter was not satisfied with one catch and because of his greed, he lost whatever he had caught twice and had to go hungry without a dinner. So the moral is that a bird in hand is better than two in the bush. Also, when in trouble, think smart and don't panic. Thank you for those comments. And in case you were all wondering how I did the coin trick in my last video, it's quite simple. All you need to do is hide the coin behind your palm, between your thumb and index finger. Can you see it? Then you turn your hand around. You slide your left hand over your right hand and pull the coin out. One of our viewers, Shara, has sent us a video doing the coin trick and we'll be putting it up on our stories today on Facebook and Instagram. Some of you had guessed one of the characters to be a rat after the Wednesday's clues. Yes, the Wednesday's clues did point towards both a rat and a mouse since a group of both is called a mischief and both are shown as eating cheese in cartoons but I hope the Friday's clues clarified uh, the confusion. One of our viewers, Praya Prabuddha, asked us then what's the difference between a rat and a mouse and a tortoise and a turtle. Rats and mice are both rod rodents but there are a few differences. Mice are generally smaller than rats weighing around 15 to 45 grams whereas rats are heavier and weigh 150 to 300 grams. Mice have larger ears and they have a long thin tail with hair on it whereas rats have smaller ears and have a thick hairless tail. Rats have distinctly large feet and head as compared to their body than a mouse. And did you know that all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Tortoises have a more rounded shell, whereas turtles have a thinner shell. Tortoises spend more time on land, whereas turtles spend more time in water. And tortoises have club-shaped legs, whereas turtles have flipper-shaped legs. And now it's time to pick a lucky winner from our Guess the Animals quiz. We have five correct entries this time. Shara, 
Manya, Shorya, Titi, and Ashni. And the lucky winner is Ashni. Congratulations, Ashni. We'll get in touch with you and you will get to play a character in our next story. Bye.